How's it going today? I'm going to be walking you through how to install map editor. So the first thing you're want to, going to want to do is uh, we need to find the GTA 5 root directory. So if you're using Steam, which most of you probably are, just go to your library, find Grand Theft Auto 5, right click, manage and browse local files. If you're not using Steam, find the GTA 5.exe or a shortcut, right click and go to open file location and you should, uh, this is what should pop up. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create a new folder and you're gonna to wanna to name the scripts. Okay, now what we wanna do is locate the gta5.exe, right click on it, properties, go to details. So uh, here is your game version. This is the game of, this is the version of GTA you're running. And so you need to make sure you keep this in mind because you may need to download something different. Most of you are probably running the newest version, so you should just follow what I do. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is actually download the dependencies for Map Editor first. So the first dependency is going to be script, script hook V. I will have all these links in the description. So this is the latest one. You want to go to download. Okay. And then you will need, like I said, uh, or sorry, you will need, like I'm mentioning now, uh, Win, WinRAR, 7-zip, anything like that. And then if it does say that insecure download, it's secure, perfectly fine. Uh, just open that. Okay. Open the bin folder. Okay. And open your root directory again we're putting this straight into uh, the directory not into the script folder so you want to just get dinput script v script v drag it into the directory if you do have these files already existing replace destination okay close this now we're done with that next thing we're going to do is this is like i said this depends on your version of the game if you're running the newest version you're going to want to do the nightly build if not your game will either crash or the menu will not open so this is what I'm gonna be doing. But if you're not, if you're running a later version of the game, this one will work fine. So make sure you download from the release, not the source code. And I will have, like I said, all these links in the description. So go ahead and download this. Okay, save, open this up. All right, let's open the directory again. And once again, this is going in the directory, not the script folder. So all you wanna do is you need all these files except the readme in the folders. So just go ahead and drag this over to the directory. Boom, now they're in there. Go ahead and close out of that. We're done with this. So you can go ahead and close these. All right, next is native UI. This one is a little bit outdated. It's the last release 2019. They're working on a new one now. So maybe I'll do a future video on that release, but this one works fine for now. So go ahead and download this. Okay, we have two files here. Go ahead and open this up. And these are going in the scripts folder. All right, just like that, close out of that. Okay, now comes actual map editor once all the dependencies are downloaded. So go ahead and download this, download. Okay, and then we have all these files. Go over here, scripts folder. Get all of this except the native UI, we already have the latest version of that. So let's go ahead and drag all this stuff in here. Boom, that's it. Close out of that. All right, and now that's that's map editor installed. I'll launch the game and we'll see if it works. All right, I have now loaded into the game. And if we click F7, which is the default uh, keybind, you'll see that the map editor works. Um, and then, yeah, to actually enter it, you just click this. And then you're able to place stuff and select different things. And then I can do a future video on how to add maps, how to do all that kind of stuff. So yeah, uh, if you are having some issues for some reason, what you can do is go to your root directory again and just search up log. And then um, these are log files. So if you are having some issues, you should be able to see like an error here or something not loading or not functioning correctly and in these you'll see it and then if you have any issues just let me know in the comments and i'll be able to help you out uh, have a great day